Hello, this is Daron with I Can Develop Games uh, blog, uh, teaching you how to develop games by outsourcing, no coding required. Today I'm going to show you um, AdWorld, AdWorld, however you pronounce it. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of it and why you should use it. Um, so I'm going to log in into my own account. And the first thing I want to uh, give to bring to your attention is the apps tab, the house ads and reports, the dev resources. The dev resources is where your developer can uh, go and actually grab all the material he needs and SDK and everything. The apps tab is where all of your apps are going to be listed that after you create them in AdWorld, um, you can see reports, you can go in and uh, check some information we'll get into that the, the house ads is where you create um, house ads to uh, present in ad world now maybe i should start uh, by saying this ad world if you don't know it's basically um it's a system that allows you to um, show in your app a banner you for sure you've seen banners in games and apps before on top or below that shows you uh, many things many kinds of ads games or anything like that. Um, AdWorld is basically a hub that uh, you can bring um, in uh, iAds, feed into uh, AdWorld, you can bring from um, um, different uh, ad networks. And the beauty of AdWorld is you can control which ad network you want to show at a certain time as opposed to if for example you had uh, integrated in the game only i ads that's it you're done you have only i ads that's all you show with ad world you can control percentage wise i can do 20 percent i ads 30 percent uh, house ads and the rest of the percentage something else now why you want to use this AdWorld is great for house ads. I don't really use it to um, promote uh, and show any ads. I use it to kind of like cross promote my own games in the middle of a game or during a game. You see a banner on the top, which is always there in a free game, not in a paid game. In a free game, you have a banner on top and it basically promotes uh, other games of mine. Another tactic that I use if uh, somebody plays on a free version and I have a paid version of the, uh, that game uh, on sale or offered for free for limited time, I will push in a house, uh, a house ad there to show um, the player the, uh, given the opportunity to either buy it on a sale or, or upgrade for the, fr uh, for the paid version uh, for free, basically. All right, so this is house ads. We'll get into their reports. Uh, depends on the time that I have in recording. Let's see. And give you some information haven't done in, in a while I'll, I'll look a bit later and see if it's something that uh, um, I'm gonna concentrate on all right so let's pretend you haven't had any uh, apps uh, in AdWorld registered so what you do obviously you click on add application we can type the name of the application in here which is only for your reference on this uh, um, a system whenever you log into ad world you see from game you know this is the game now the url is uh, a link of um, of your iphone game in the app store or the android whatever it is uh, at the moment i didn't prepare anything but uh, let's see um, whatever it is that's uh roll ball jump which i think uh, works these are optional uh, um, functions uh, optional settings and this is when you have the ability to either have banners ad, banner ad types that you create the graphics on your own or you can basically have ad world um, um, advertise in a text format uh, the banner will have a certain color to it and um, and at the text color, uh, you can control the refresh rate of how often ads will be shown, transition. Basically, you don't have to mess with that if you don't need to. I can see I'm having a problem here. So let's grab maybe... Uh, 
just let's see if there's anything here. Uh, app settings. Okay, I'll just grab a link from here temporarily and call this fun game again, iPhone, and we'll add the app. All right, so we're gonna go find the game we just created. All right, is it here? Fun game, and there it is. All right, after clicking, this SDK key is the key you have to give your developer. This is what he has to integrate into the SDK, the SDK key. And, and now these are the ad networks that you can activate um, and show through AdWorld. The, um, the catch here, though, every ad network except for iAd, and I might be wrong, every ad network has its own SDK that will be needed to uh, um, integrate into the uh, code. Maybe AdSense you won't, but I think uh, iAd and AdSense are the only ones you won't need to. So that's the only thing. It's a bit of a headache. What I do, I activate iAd and house ads. That's all what I do. Now, uh, let's use, for example, let's say you want to activate uh, iAd, uh, okay? We're gonna call app ID. Now the app ID you can grab from the iTunes, uh, from iTunes online. Now I can turn it on. I can either turn it on or off. And I wanna tell it I want 100% of I add to be shown. Um, let's see, publisher ID, publisher, I don't know. I'm just messing with it. I don't know, even know if that's gonna work. All right. The reason why I did it is to show you, you can activate two and I can give, for example, AdSense 30% visibility, 7%, oops, 7% of I ads, and you have to click save changes. And that's really it in terms of, um, of setting everything up uh, after the developer integrates what he needs into the code, you should be able to test this. Now let's go to house ads. House ads. I can select of something that I already created and I'll show you exactly how to set it up, but it doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, let's show you guys this one. All right, add to app. All right, so the same concept here. I can add as many as I uploaded here to AdWorld and I can set the percentage, not forgetting to press save changes. If you don't remember how your um, banner looks like, you can hit preview. See, it's a cute game, by the way. Or you can go straight to reporting. Like I said, if we had the time, we'll go and check that. All right. At network settings, you will have to go back here after you set up the house ads and then turn this guy on and let's make it 50% and what would that be 20% for I ads. And that's really about this guy. The backfield priority is basically if AdSense has nothing to, um, to show or let me start with its priority. I want to give a priority to AdSense like Try and show AdSense as the, the as, as the more as possible, um, which means it's going to be priority number one. If nothing is available in AdSense, then you have I'm telling AdWorld go to iAd and show iAd uh, uh, ads. If nothing on iAd is uh, available, then you would go to house ads, and we can change this and make it this order just to show you. All right, there you go. It switched it. Let's see what else. All right, house ads. Now let's create a new one. So here I can do, let's do something uh, like this. I can develop games.com. The goal is a website. All right, so basically I'm creating an, a house ad and it's going to be previewed here. I'm going to tell it, 
check my blog at icandevelopgames.com. Let's do my blog. There's not enough room for everything.com. Boom. I can either use an image here or I can upload a small image. And then I can save the changes. I'm not going to do that. It's just a bit of a headache then like deleting it. And I think automatically it will add itself to uh, these apps that I have here. Anyway, I think you got the idea. The other option which I'm using is a banner. I create in any um, graphic tool a banner at these sizes to, so it would fit at, uh, uh, on, on different mobile devices, screen resolutions. You just upload at these sizes, whatever you need, whatever you create, and that's it. The same concept. Click on Save Changes. Let's see what else. That's really it. Now, if you click on Reports... All right, haven't done that in a while. You can look and reports on any type of uh, app that you have here. Let's see if I got anything here to show. Retrieving, no, it's pretty pathetic at the moment. Well, I probably didn't have it on or anything like that. Let's see if there's anything else. How about no. this one? Oh, there is something here. So on the 21st of February, I had two clicks to click on I ads. As you can see here, the legend is a color legend. I had I ads uh, um, active uh, during that time, and I had two clicks on February 21st. Here it gives you a little bit more of information. Oh, yep. There was an impression, I guess, not a click, whatever the case is. The same you can go with house ads. You can decide, okay, you can see uh, for house had uh, this one. Were there any impressions anytime? No, there were more than a thousand at some point. You can probably tell. That was the blue was total, the yellow was roll ball jump. Life is good. What can I say? Same with clicks. 16 clicks. All right. Impression were quite a few, but the clicks were not. Okay. And click through ratio. All right. Let's see. And that's it, really. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it actually helped you in any way. Um, if you find it useful, I appreciate uh, you subscribing to my channel um, so you can get notification on any future updates, uh, videos, I should say. Also, I have uh, a free gift for you, unless you already knew about it on my blog, icandevelopgames.com. Um, I have a free guide uh, full with pro tips, uh, teaching you basically how to find and hire the best developer for your next uh, project. You should check it. It's, it's, it's really good. It's useful and it's free. This was Daron with icandevelopgames.com blog and see you in the next video. Bye.